welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Vicky and I love to talk all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, go on and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I finally have a layering video for you. So if you're interested in all the combinations, then just keep on watching. Okay, so before we get started, my one thing about layering videos is sometimes I don't want to feel like I'm repeating the same thing. I don't want it to be redundant. But at the same time, I do want to emphasize some of the combos that I continue to revisit. I might add a little something here or there. So I hope that's all right. Um, I got my, got my notebook ready. So, um, I got quite a few combos to get through. You might need a little snack and let's get into this. So this first combo is something that I reach for when I don't really know what to wear and my like morning routines kind of worn off by this time. So if I do my morning routine like seven o'clock in the morning and I'm leaving out after work. Now it's like 5.36 and I don't want to reapply whatever I wore that day. Like I could, but if I just want to, you know, throw on something else, I will reach for this. And this is Ariana Grande's Cloud and Killian's Princess. So these are two fragrances that on their own you can just throw on and you know and go so i love layering these two together when i don't really know what i want to wear but i know when to smell cute so this is like the go-to for me so next this is kind of along the same lines where i had went out one day after work didn't really know what i wanted to put on so i just threw these two together and i got complimented in whole foods so much so that the lady wanted to know exactly what i was wearing and it was this combination right here. This is, oh, let me get the fingerprints off, okay? We've got Kaoli Eatin' Juicy Apple and Elixir 11 together. Magic, okay? Smells amazing. Um, When you layer just perfumes on their own, you have to put the stronger one on first. Give it a minute and then put on the lighter one. And this left a very nice scent trail. So like I said, someone like literally, like, like I need to know what you have on right now. So love this one. Next for body care, I have wrapped in vanilla and raspberry jam donut. So these two together smell divine. This is definitely starting to turn into like the vanilla 28 of body care, in my opinion, something that you can literally just toss into any warm, yummy routine that you want to do. So like I said, this was the body care. And for the perfume, I put um, Kenzo Flower Elixir and Vanilla 28 together. This combination on its own is magical. I love these two together. And I have gotten quite a huge dent in my Kenzo Flower Elixir. I don't know if you can tell. It's like all the way down here now. So I have definitely been using this heavy lately i think i've worn this combination probably three or four days straight i love this so so much so this next combination started with pear creme brulee as my base and now that i'm thinking about it i probably should have added wrapped in vanilla to this you guys know how i feel about pear creme brulee i love it here but yes this was my base i'm just gonna have to have a picture of the other bottle on here because it reflects and glares really badly onto my um, camera on the phone but yes I use these two together and I will say it's I'm starting to warm up to the new Kaoli scent wasn't a fan of it um but with warmer and sweeter body not warmer but with sweeter body care I noticed that it does wear much better on my skin Next, this combination is not new to my channel. Body care base would be pumpkin cupcake. This smells so delectable. Yummy spiced buttercream frosting. And the fragrances were Angel Share and Vanilla 28 per usual. I love this combination so, so much. And 
with it being colder i've been able to get some really good use out of my angel share next up my body care base was orange vanilla twist and the fragrance i used is my new house of sillage cream chiffon this is pretty much why i was like all right we can we can do this while it was on sale so together this was just so delectable to me and i have something else that has like a creamy orangey um vibe as far as fragrance mist goes i would like to try that with cream chiffon and also have that nest seville orange oil i would like to try with this too but i haven't tried those i've tried these and i enjoy it this does have that whole blue magic thing but if you go overlook it, okay, and you have this, I recommend trying them together. Next, the body care base was Goose Creek Marshmallow Sugar and Beach Nights. And the fragrance I use is from Dua, and this is Caramelized Sugar S'mores. And this is really, really strong. So a little bit of this will go a long way. And I'm not... I'm still not sure how I feel about this scent from Dua, but I have gotten a few responses for Dua in general that they need to sit for a little while. So that's what I've been trying to do. I haven't been reaching for the Dua scents because I want them to sit and see if the scent trans if the scent transforms a little bit because so far they've kind of just been interesting, but like I said, I'm going to let them sit for a couple more weeks and I will revisit this whole little thing I got going on here. Next here, I have the Honey Lotion and Wicked Vanilla Woods. This was my body care base. Um, It's probably an honorable mention, but I used the Honey Ginger Body Oil for this. And the fragrance I used is Lieb Le Parfum. This smells divine to me. I love it. That saffron note is just everything in here. So, mm. and it still has that leap DNA. I love the whole leap, well, except for the um, toilette. But other than that, I definitely enjoy the whole leap line. Next, I took my Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter with my cinnamon donut swirl lotion and i used the sweet cinnamon pumpkin fragrance mist i think i have around here somewhere. yes i used the sweet cinnamon pumpkin fragrance mist and for the fr for the fragrance i did use killian angel share love it i suppose i could pick it up but you guys could pick me <laughs> and i have also done this combo with the sweet cinnamon pumpkin lotion with this and that was also a vibe i've also used my pumpkin butter with the sweet cinnamon pumpkin lotion and my pumpkin apple fragrance mist i can't remember if i mentioned this combo or not already so i'm gonna mention it again <laughs> next i have my into the night i use my full into the night set with um a trap reve from louis vuitton i feel like it was only right for me to test this out it's a very sexy sultry combination that i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed next i used you're the one the full set and the fragrant that i have the perfume to this and i used fleur musk for her by narciso rodriguez definitely enjoyed this this is a musky rosy scent smells good if you enjoy musky scents that is but together they um work really well but real quick this isn't a combo i've tried yet but i want to so i got a question from i wrote her name down it's stephanie chanel she asked me if blush cardigan smells like flower elixir and in my opinion now i have to spray this again because i don't think they smell alike i do think the raspberry like they both have those thicker raspberry notes so it's possible that together they will complement each other really well so this is something i'm interested in testing out like how these two will layer i don't they're not like dupes or anything but i feel like they could be great compliments to each other so wasn't something that was on my radar to test out 
but I'm definitely interested in trying these together. So, um, we are gonna throw this in here and we are gonna attribute this to Stephanie. Next, I have, um, this combo here. This is Forever Red, which is still hanging on. I've, I literally ran out of steam with trying to finish this. I'm over it. So hopefully at some point I get back to it because you see it's literally, you know, not much left. And this is Sugared Orchid, which you can find at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Kind of similar vibe to Viva La Juicy Noir. Very warm and sexy. And y'all, yeah. can you see how much is left in there? I have been thoroughly enjoying using this with these two together. It's a nice warm sultry vibe going on so hopefully soon i finish this and maybe even this too next i have whipped rose latte i used the full body care set for this and for the fragrance i was using the rose scent from bath and body works because sometimes this gives me a soapy floral like a soapy rose vibe because i mean we can do it with intense cafe we can make this a coffee rose but sometimes i want to highlight that soapiness that i get so i felt like it was perfect to mix with the rose perfume so next my body care base was bonfire bash and pear creme brulee and for the fragrance i used labelle and you know it was a vibe i loved it Next, I'm pretty sure this combo has kind of been mentioned already, but this is definitely a bomb combo. And that is Bonfire Bash with Berry Elixir. So I used the full set to Berry Elixir. I used the butter for Bonfire Bash. And for the fragrance, I have layered Donna with the Nesta Madagascar Vanilla Oil. Like, That's all I gotta say. And I didn't even have to say nothing. <laughs> so next, I also used Bonfire Bash with my set to Velvet Petals. And the fragrance I used is Kaali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. A vibe. You can't go wrong with cherry almond and it's a little smoky. So I felt like this whole little situation was everything. Next, um, I took Mary Mocha and Vanilla Mocha Cream as my body care. These two together smell heavenly. And for the fragrances, I layered Vanilla Sky with Chocolate Queen. Y'all. Yeah. This is just so yummy. So delectable. Everything. Okay, this was just everything. It's like definitely a chocolate mocha a mocha chino this was it okay i love this love 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 this next i'm gonna get into what i'm wearing today um so i took my full sets to both peach prosecco macaron and wrapped in vanilla <sighs> just first of all these two together it's just so delicious and for the fragrance, I layered my Juicy Perfumes Accident a la Vanille, Madeline de Proust, and Vanilla 28. Can you say peach cupcake, okay? These two together, amazing. The body care together, amazing. All of them together as one is just so delectable, okay? Just so delectable. And I think this is my favorite one, which is why I saved it for last. Let me just check my list to make sure I got everything else covered. I got everything else covered. Yep. So I saved my favorite one for last. And this to me is like signature scent worthy. But beware, and I'm gonna get into the story after the fact. So body care. I have a wrapped in vanilla. Bare Vanilla Luxe, a vibe. I also use my Fragrant Body Oils Love Don't Be Shy Oil. Optional if you have it or not. And the fragrance I used is Dossier's Floral Marshmallow, which is the dupe to Love Don't Be Shy. 
so i do have a travel spray to that um which whenever i wear this i will just pop my travel spray into my purse okay y'all this is new look at the dent you see the dent i had a dent in it when i hauled it because i had it for a couple weeks but do we see the dent here like i need i need more of this this is so sticky syrupy delicious so I got a question a couple weeks ago from um, Danielle Rose and she was like, if I could just pick one perfume and I really couldn't pick. And that was before I really started wearing this. And I think, I think, I think this will be the one. Like if I had to pick a signature scent, it would probably be this slash love don't be shy since there's, they smell pretty similar to me, this and that. But because of the price, I would definitely buy two or three backups of this. And I still wouldn't pay what I pay for, um, what I would pay for a full bottle of Love Don't Be Shy. This is amazing, especially with how I've been spraying this. I would be petrified to buy a full-size bottle of Love Don't Be Shy only to run through it. Because I feel like I will run through this. Now, I love that combo. I've been running it back. I mentioned it when I hauled that perfume that I wore it to um, when I had to go into the office a couple weeks ago. I said people were hugging me too long. I went to a get together over the weekend and I was told that I smelled amazing. I smelled yummy. I smelled delicious. I was getting complimented on it. However, comma, be safe when wearing this. Okay, y'all be safe. Let me tell you what happened. True story. I go to this box. I want to get my oysters. I deserve. Um, so one thing about me, this is really random, but I struggle getting into stools. Like my legs are only long in spirit. That really has nothing to do with the story. But I'm trying to get into the stool and I'm scooting in or whatever, looking ridiculous. And the lady on the right side of me says, oh my God, you smell so good. And I'm like, thank you. So then I order, the bartender walks over, I order my stuff, and then I'm finally in my chair after scooting and looking ridiculous, you know, because my legs are dangling, I don't have anything to help me. That doesn't have anything to do with the story. This lady on the side of me, who I've never seen before, I don't know her, she doesn't know me, she leans her head in onto my jacket that I'm wearing and inhales. She's like... And I was just and and because I'm a hermit, I don't typically I don't go outside that often, and I just I didn't know what to do. I was just like, like what's happening? Because I was like, this you didn't just bury your head into my jacket, did you? Like, what do I do? Like. I kind of just like looked over a little and I think her husband or whoever the guy was she was with I think he noticed that so he kind of put his arm around her and like brought her into him a little more because I was weirded out like why would you do that and my friend saw the story because I posted about it on Instagram um in my stories and she knows me in real life and she knows I'm weird about touching and you know especially like someone who you don't know just touching you like first of all why would you do that and she could just i know she could just sense like my panic like my anxiety and uh COVID, like i was really weirded out because why would you do that i'm like i know i smell good but i don't smell that good for you to just bury your head and it's close to the bosom too so i'm just like again why would you why would you do that i would never unless it was like beyonce or rihanna okay we could violate some some i would never is there but for a, like a random stranger you don't know like why would you why would you do that i sell that to say um this it's probably gonna be like my signature scent combo that I'm gonna love and enjoy. And that's just that. And whether or not I swap out whatever I use for the body care base, the fragrance itself, I think, okay, 
I wasn't sure what I wanted it to be between like Donna, Delina Exclusive, um, Leap. There's a couple others, but this one I've become obsessed with. I've literally put a nice size dent in it already and I love it so much. So, okay, that is this layering video, long overdue. And it's all the combos I can remember that I've taken pictures of because there were a couple things I've worn I didn't take a picture of and I don't remember the full thing or whatever. And that's okay. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Thank you.